The anticipation. Where are they at? Built with each moment. They're, they're still waiting for a wheelchair. David Eves has waited long enough. To have him home and to, to hold him and tell him that we're glad to have him home. To see his son Levi come home. I'm surprised you held together this long. <laughs> The Army Ranger and Tarpon Springs High grad spent three tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Six months ago, he was injured when an IED exploded. He suffered traumatic injuries, many he's recovered from, but he can still barely walk. For now, he's been forced to give up his passion of riding motorcycles. As Levi's family waited for his return, so did the Defenders, a group of motorcyclist enthusiasts. It's all about giving. It's not about gifts, it's not about presents. Uh, just a way to give to give to give back. The group of 24 bikers gave their time on Christmas to surprise the staff sergeant with an escort home. It makes this Christmas even more special. Many like Ron Rook can relate. I know what it means to the soldier and I know what it means to his mother that we're out here and doing this today. So we're, it's an honor and privilege to be able to do it. And knew they had to be there for the injured soldier. I've had 67 Christmases prior to this. I'm 68. And so this is, this is I'm just paying back. I'm paying back for all the things that's been done for me over the years. A loud cheer from the entire terminal greeted Levi. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Good Merry Christmas. Along with many hugs. A rumble grew outside the airport as Levi made his way out. Bikers and law enforcement officers gave the wounded veteran a return home like no other. Thanks for uh, looking after us. On a Christmas, he and his family will never forget. I don't need gifts, you know. I got family, I got friends, I don't really need a gift. In Tampa, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Okay, your surprise is in the backyard. In the backyard. Oops, sorry. Okay, run out back. Nothing? Is it nothing? Where's the surprise? Where did the surprise go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Go see your dad. <laughs> Is he bad? <laughs> I heard Ethan snore. Oh, he's snorting. <laughs> Yay! Isabella, did you know who that was? No. You didn't. This dude CJ emotional right now. Come on, this way. Cookie, entra! 
cute. If you did it and you're not manning up to it, you're going to look like, that's fine. I lost hope to be tell you about a tearful reunion that has been months in the making. A local military dad travels halfway around the world to surprise his teenage daughter. Fox 5's Caitlin Pratt has the story. Shelby Ussery had her gloves, her shin pads, and as captain of the Thunder Soccer Club, her team spirit, all ready to go for the first game in Saturday's tournament. What the 11-year-old didn't have is any idea her one holiday wish was about to come true. Shelby is a goalie. The net inside these posts is special to her. So it was fitting that one of the most special people in her life, her father, would be standing there. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Army National Guard Sergeant Richard Ussery has been in Iraq for a year. Okay. Love you. I do. A recent ankle injury made a Christmas visit home a possibility, but. <laughs> you gotta let go. Shelby's mother, her soccer coaches were all in on the surprise. A surprise hard to hide the last few days that had to be put in place. Very careful and a lot of sneaking around where she wouldn't know what was going on. I thought she turned around once, but the coach kind of got her attention back a couple of times. <laughs> Engineered so that this father could see his daughter doing what she loves, what he's missed all season long. It's a good to see you play. <laughs> It's an unexpected gift. Well, I still have tears in my eyes, so <laughs> I know it's the best for me. I don't know about her, but I can tell you it's the best for me. In Athens, Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. Precious moment. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ussery will be home for three days before he returns to Fort Hood, Texas. Now, it's unclear right now when he'll be home for good. Those plans depend on whether the sergeant has to go any surgery for his ankle. We'd also like to recognize the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class, Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty. Now that's what I call a family reunion.
Good. Jenny's feeling better because she said she was. up to the restaurant right now. I'm a little bit late. I'm supposed to be here about 15 minutes ago, but hey, it's my party and I'll be late if I want to. So. Thanks for inviting 
inviting me. Nobody. <laughs> oh my God.